I first found stress granules the same way I find everything by accident. TIA1 was originally supposed to be something in a cell called natural killer cells, but somehow in making an antibody to it, the antibody actually recognized something else. So I said, well, maybe if I torture the cells, stress them, and lo and behold, when I did heat shock, now all the cells had these granules. It became clear that it wasn't an isolated case, and there are these things in all of our cells called stress granules that I was one of the first people to discover and characterize. Almost half the protein doesn't form any structure. And the idea was, well, it can't be important. But not being able to form a fixed structure doesn't mean that it's not forming several different structures dynamically. That means that optic methods are really the only way to get at these guys. A colleague showed me immunostaining, and the pictures are really amazing what antibodies let you see in cells. I was testing hundreds of antibodies, and I had to really learn how to make all of them work so I could see them. Immunostaining is like 90% interpretation. So you combine the stress with drugs and things that interact with known parts of cellular metabolism. And you ask the simple question, do stress granules stay, go away, get bigger, get smaller? Part of it's just staring there going, well, that's weird. They fused, you know, how can you explain that? And then looking back to the real world and trying to come up with a good model that you can then test. Growing up, I never really stopped asking all the annoying questions. I just have to know stuff. And when I got older, I really had a sort of artsy bent. In college, I spent half my time in the biology labs and half my time backstage at the University Theater, where I was the only female to ever hold the position of shop foreman in charge of all the power tools, so don't mess with me. What I do now, specifically immunostaining and using antibodies to light up things in cells, is essentially just a more highly technical way of lighting a theatrical production. I'm really a lab rat at heart. I'm hoping to create GFP tag versions of these proteins that form stress granules. Fish them out of solution, get rid of the RNA, and then maybe add the RNA back and see if we can get them to bind beads. If I can't purify them, can I build one up? That would be very cool. Protein tap group antibodies are raised against either the whole entire protein or a big chunk of it. An awful lot of proteins are cut in pieces. Things are added that might block a little region if you only see one part of it. If you have an antibody that only sees one tiny little part of this whole big molecule, well, if that is hidden or if the umbrella is closed or if that part is cut off or modified, you can't detect it, you know? But if you've got antibodies that recognize the whole thing, it is the same protein. The first place I look is, is really the protein tech group. Um, they are like my favorite. Mm -hmm.